major movie release canceled across the country after the threat of terror attacks from hackers. And new developments tonight as federal investigators confirm a connection to North Korea. Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson. And I'm Maurice Dubois. CBS 2's Tracy Carrasco is live in Times Square where the billboard is still up, but the Christmas Day release is off. Tracy. That's right behind me. You can see that billboard is still up here in Times Square for the movie, The Interview. Now that Sony Pictures has pulled the plug, this may be the closest we will ever get to the movie. You want us to kill the leader of North Korea? Yes. What? Comedy turned real life drama. The interview set for a Christmas Day release now scrapped. First by several top theater chains like AMC, Regal, and Bowtie Cinemas, now by Sony. A move some are questioning. Uh, I think that's ridiculous because it's a movie, you know, it's comedy, freedom of speech. For us to think that it's okay to just put out a movie like that, I think was wrong anyway. So I think it was a good decision to pull it. With today's society, I mean, you really have to err on the side of caution. The movie's plot revolves around the killing of North Korea's dictator Kim Jong-un. I'm going to North Korea! The backlash began after a message from the alleged Sony hackers promised violence against those screening the film. Online Tuesday, the group calling itself the Guardians of Peace warned the world would be full of fear. Remember, the 11th of September, 2001. It was in poor taste, so I think it's better safe than sorry because God forbid something would have happened. Now, U.S. government officials say the Sony hack can be traced back to the North Korean government. In a statement Wednesday night, Sony Pictures said we are deeply saddened at this brazen effort to suppress the distribution of a movie and in the process do damage to our company, our employees and the American public. The threat against the movie really put this into a whole other realm. I mean, the cyber attack was unprecedented in this magnitude. Joe Piccarello of NYU's Tisch School of the Arts and a former studio executive says this situation is a plot twist the movie biz couldn't have predicted, but says Sony made the right call. The notion that fear to go to the movie theater could keep people from coming had to be taken seriously. Now, Sony Pictures has no further plans to release the movie, and there is a meeting tomorrow morning between the White House and the intelligence community to discuss the North Korean government's involvement in this Sony hack. We're live tonight in Times Square. Tracy Carrasco, CBS 2 News. Tracy, thank you. Now